BASA is a group of people who get together to really appreciate the brewing of uh, beer, to appreciate the comradeship and fellowship that comes with getting together. Uh, we are not boozers. We enjoy a beer. Ken Duffer Himes drinks, not as he puts it, as a boozer, but as a proud member of the Beer Appreciation Society of Australia. And the first All-Australian Beer Festival he sees as Bass's great leap forward. A two-night affair, the festival begins with a formal dinner. Well, as formal as it can be with unlimited beer provided. Washington Irving once said, those who drink beer will think beer, and Bassa thinks beer. On the dinner menu is a famous Flemish dish, braised steak flamand. It's simply beef casseroled in beer. And before the beef, by way of an experiment, the soup course too is a beer preparation. To serve 100, the recipe calls for three and a half gallons of beer, three dozen egg whites, some cinnamon sticks, three pints of cream and grated cheese. Is this how Bassa men like their beer? Well, a good Bassa man, I think, looks first of all for the, the flavour of the ale. He, uh, he wants to feel that there is some body in the beer. Uh, he wants to know whether it is either a sweet beer or a sour beer. Uh, it may even have a salty taste. Um, he um, appreciates whether it um, ha holds its head and whether it clings to the glass well. And uh, if it's poured at a good temperature, it should have a good chill haze, as we see on the outside of this glass here. You may see this, this chill haze on the outside of the glass. But when the chill haze is wiped from the glass, there's none of the snobbery of the wine man in Bassa and plenty of camaraderie. The tall, foaming glass in this case is infinitely more preferable than a steaming soup bowl. Beer soup won't be on the Bassa menu again. The beef and beer proves more acceptable. But the purpose of this first Australian beer festival is not eating. There's some serious drinking to be done and some serious judging. The very venue for the festival demands it. Half a mile from this century-old hotel, the first hops were planted in Victoria. The Bassa men are charged, charged with the duty to those old settlers to carry on the traditions of honest ale assessment. Each year, the society elects a number of chief pourers. It's their duty to import the rarest brews from abroad for Bassa appreciation. The selector of the best beer receives a hundred-year-old brick from the ruins of a wing of the hotel. Lacquered and mounted, it's the Bassa man's most cherished possession. That, plus his taste for beer. There's always a satisfying feeling after you've had a good glass of beer, and I'd say this particular one has a very, very forceful burpability. Workability is, is fair too. It is obviously not a Victorian brew, but it is quite pleasant. It's too light, and there's no haggis in it. And I like haggis. Well, I've been born and been in Melbourne all my life, and I, that's, this is the beer I've always been accustomed to, I think, and uh, I've tasted quite a few tonight. My personal rating between 0 and 10, I'd give it a 4.5, and it's, uh, I would say, a Sydney brewed beer. <laughs> of course I like it. It's beer, isn't it? That's the main thing. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Cheers. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,